Most of the proteins in the body are soluble proteins and structural proteins. Membrane proteins comprise a small fraction of the total proteins, but most of the drugs that are used in medicine target membrane proteins. For that reason, it's very important to understand how the membrane proteins work and how these drugs affect the membrane proteins. The Center for Membrane Protein Research was established by the School of Medicine of the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center in 2008. The focus of the center in terms of the research is the molecular biophysics. We study in detail how the proteins work, but during the last few years we have been moving more and more toward biomedicine, providing applications of our studies to medicine. Membrane proteins are involved in many physiological processes. Among them, ion channels are very important. The functional ion channels are involved in uh, autoimmune diseases, in cancer, in neurological disorders, in epilepsy, for example. My laboratory is uh, committed to provide an atomic description of the gating process of an ion channel. And then we put all together to create the first structural and functional description of an ion channel. Using the information that we provide, the pharmaceutical industry will modify the molecule and then dock it into a specific conformation that is not functional and make that channel now functional. We are interested in pentameric ligand-gated ion channels. They consist out of three domains, the extracellular domain, transmembrane domain and intracellular domain. This last domain is the most diverse domain. Deciphering its structure and function will help pave the way for very selective and specific drugs for many different neurological diseases. Our major achievements are that when you remove this domain, the channels are still functional. This idea was then picked up by crystallography labs that were then able to determine the high-resolution crystal structure of these important receptors. I study a membrane protein called pig lycoprotein that is responsible for a number of cases of resistance to anti-cancer agents in tumors. Uh, this protein is a pump that takes anti-cancer agents from the cells and pump them out so the tumors that have this protein become resistant to chemotherapy. Early on, uh, we have been focusing on the very, very basic mechanism of, of the functioning of the protein. Lately, we have been expanding to the biomedical applications, trying to find out specific inhibitors using the knowledge that we have on the basics of the protein. Inhibitors of this protein could be used to improve the efficiency of anti-cancer therapy. The role of uh, proteins in membrane repair is a reasonably new topic. We focus on the protein called dysferlin that has been implicated in um, repairing damage to cell membranes. Mutations in the dysferlin protein uh, have been linked to the progressive damage that people have seen in uh, diseases like limb girdle muscular dystrophy. My lab specializes in x-ray crystallography. We're trying to take this very large protein, this dysferlin protein, and we're segmenting it into individual domains. And um, the specialty in my lab is a module called the C2 domain. The one important discovery that we made in collaboration with Dr. Ann Handerleiter at the University of Minnesota at Duluth has been that the C2 domains are thermodynamically very weak. We feel that this particular property is um, necessary, is almost required, to interact with very flexible membranes. Texas Tech uh, University Health Sciences Center began the structural biology in Lubbock uh, by hiring Brian Sutton. And then my department, chemistry and biochemistry at Texas Tech University, decided to pursue structural biology using NMR, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, which is a technique that you can use to study proteins in something close to their native environment. To pursue this, we purchased a 600 megahertz instrument that has both solution and solid state NMR capabilities. Being able to collaborate with all the great expertise through the Center for Membrane Protein Research, I'm able to create a research program where we're able to look at a protein holistically. And from that, basically really try to understand the function and structure of membrane proteins using a number of techniques. Because of the uh, broad range of investigations that we do in membrane proteins, collaborations are fundamental. 
that makes the research multidisciplinary, which is very important not only to advance knowledge, but also for the training. In our center, most of the students get multidisciplinary training by having more than one mentor or advisor and by working in different laboratories. We are young structural biologists and established structural biologists and we have been trained in very diverse biophysical techniques. So we put together all our expertise to tackle specifically these questions. And our uh, grad students are very high quality grad students. One of the advantages of working at the Center for Membrane Protein Research is that we are a relatively small faculty, but we're highly collaborative and we're highly focused in our mission. In addition, since we're at a medical school, we, get the, uh, we have the uh, luxury of working with some very smart medical students. I can collaborate with electrophysiologists, I can collaborate with um, membrane specialists, I can collaborate with thermodynamicists, and we can really get a lot of very good 21st century research done.